Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel again. This is my third holiday look for the season. This one's probably geared more towards um, New Year's. You can see here I've also got three different lip colours. So the first one was a nude, the second's a red, and the third lip is like an ombre purple and pink, and then obviously the eyes are a stack of glitter. So if you want to see how I get this look, then just keep on watching. Now obviously we're going in with a lot of shadow and glitter, so you definitely want to make sure that you do prime those eyelids really well. As usual, I am using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the colour NC30 and I'm just spreading that one all over the lid and underneath the eye and this is going to act as a sticky base. Is this not the prettiest palette you've ever seen? It looks a million bucks, I just love it. This is the Urban Decay Vice 2 and first we're going in with this creamy beige shadow and we're applying this underneath our eyebrow on our brow bone as a highlight. The next colour I'm using here is this matte brown shadow and this is going to be worked through the socket and it's going to act as our transition colour and give us a nice medium to build upon and to blend with. I am like so freaking obsessed with this palette. It's got what, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 beautiful shadows and it's a mix of finishes as well. So there's some glitters, there's some satins and there's some mattes. And it's got really nice basic colours to work with. So this beautiful matte brown and also a matte beige. And they're like basically, if you've got them in a palette plus colours, you can complete any eye look that you want. I just love this one. Next we're going in with this gorgeous silver colour here and you'll see in a minute how absolutely pigmented this one is. And I'm just going to be applying this one to the inner corner of my eye, sort of across to the middle of my eyelid, the inner tear duct and then through my lower lash line as well. I did not put anything on the brush, this is honestly just the eyeshadow. How pigmented is it? It's crazy! fashionable and attractive part. We're just going to be applying a piece of sticky tape to the eye. Now you do want to make sure that the angle of the wing on both sides does line up because you do want them to match. And then we're going to go in with this gorgeous black shimmery colour from the same palette and then pat it all over the outer corner of our eyes to create a really nice wing and then blend it through into the silver. I'm just using the little double-ended brush that did come with the palette and it actually works really well for picking up the shadows and blending them. So it's not a bad little duo, it's great. And as you can see here, this shadow is just like the silver one. It's so highly pigmented. You would honestly not be disappointed with this palette at all. I'm a lucky girl and Santa came early for me and I got this one in the mail. But um, I do believe that it retails in Australia for about $80, $70 or something. So it's really not bad um, in comparison to all of the different colours that you get and how top quality the eyeshadows are. So I'm just going back in repeatedly and really packing on that black. Basically this is going to keep the eyeshadows in place all night long and it's not going to allow them to crease, so yeah, just make it as dark as you like. I'm then taking a blending brush, this is a MAC 217 and I'm buffing that one out, getting rid of the harsh lines and blending it up towards my brow bone. Now for the fun part, glitter, yay! I'm taking this next glitter mania in the colour Disco Ball. How much does that suit? Hello, because on New Year's Eve you want to be dancing under a disco ball. And I'm just taking a flat synthetic brush, spraying a little bit of Fix Plus on it and then patting that glitter onto the inner half of my lid. Now the Fix Plus does really help the glitter adhere to the eye and it also makes it a lot easier to work with and it will reduce the amount of fallout that you're going to get. You're still going to get fallout, I have to say, you know, you're not going to be able to avoid that, but it does make it a little easier to work with. I'm just running that through the inner corner and the lower lash line as well. Now I'm taking another glitter. This is the Grey Glitter by MAC. This one is part of one of the Nocturnals Glitter and Pigment set. I have said before I do have all of the sets and they are beautiful. They retail for $65 here in Australia. I do believe the black and gold ones sold out, but the other ones are still available at your counters and online. And just doing the same thing basically as I did with the Disco Ball Glitter and I'm patting it with some Fix Plus all over the outer third and through the wing. And oh my goodness, it's just so pretty, isn't it? I'd really like a nail polish in this colour. I reckon that'd be jamming. 
Now we're going to go in and create a nice wing with some eyeliner. This is my Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner. And for 4 bucks, this baby is amazing. It's so pigmented and it lasts all night long without smudging. I just love it. I'm just creating a thinner line on the inner corner there because we don't really want to cover up too much of that glitter. And then I'm carrying the line through my lashes and then out into a wing. Now the sticky tape being there is going to make it really easy to create a perfect and sharp wing. Basically just slap it on. See how messy that looks there? Most of that's actually on the tape. It's not going to look like that when we take the tape off. And that makes it so easy to get a really nice crisp line. So if you're you know, a beginner at applying eyeliner or you find that you have a hard time getting it perfect, try popping some tape on first and then applying the eyeliner. And then once you remove the tape later, it looks like you are a professional. really too sure what I was trying to do here. Flapping my arm around is not going to dry the eyeliner, but whatever. Basically you want the eyeliner to dry and then you want to remove the tape very, very carefully. The skin in this area is very delicate so you do need to be super gentle. And then I'm just going to run the cotton pad under the skin there, oh not under skin, that would be so painful, under the eye and just get rid of any of that glitter fallout that has occurred from applying the shadows. Try and make sure all of the glitter is gone before you go in and apply your foundation. Now taking my MAC Fluid Line in Black Track and my Sigma E11, this is a tiny little eyeliner brush, and I'm just sort of carrying the black through in a straight line down into my lower lashes, sort of really carving that out. About uh, probably two thirds, on a half of the eye I'm going to carry this through, and then I'm also going to pop that one on the water line as well to really black out the look. I'm not too sure if many people actually use a gel liner on the inner waterline, but I find that it works really, really well. Um, essentially, it's waterproof, so it's not going to budge, it's not going to go anywhere. And I do find that the length of wear compared to my MAC um, cold pencil is just a lot better. So, you know, YOLO! Now I'm applying some mascara to my upper and lower lashes. I'm sure that you all know how to do this, so you don't really need me to bang on about it. This is my YSL Baby Doll Mascara. This is just my sample one. I'm trying to use this one up before I get onto my full size. For lashes, I've chosen my Red Cherry 43s. I just can't go past these ones lately. They're so comfortable to wear, and because there's so much glitter on the eye, we don't really want a pair of uncomfortable lashes. So I'm just going in with these, with a pair of tweezers, and applying them as close to the lash line as possible. Now for the face, I'm applying my Bourjois Happy Light Primer. This is the matte serum one. Just applying this all over my face with my angled Kabuki by Sigma. This is going to prime our skin and hopefully with all the dancing and, you know, crazy crumping or whatever that you're doing this New Year's Eve, this is going to keep the makeup in place through all of those activities. For foundation, I'm taking my L'Oreal True Match. This is a drugstore gemstone. It's amazing. I'm in the color W4 and I'm buffing this one in with my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki. As you can see, the color is really nice yellow base. So when you are fake tan, this one's going to go really, really well with that fake tan that you're wearing. Um, sometimes when you are fake tan and you, and you choose a, um, a foundation that's like a pinker base, your face looks honestly purple. So try to use a yellow based foundation with um, a fake tanner. The coverage of this foundation is really fantastic as well. It is a full coverage wear. Um, you can try applying it with a damp beauty blender sponge if you do want a more of a sheer coverage, but with a New Year's Eve look, you probably want a full coverage anyway, and this baby's gonna last you all night long as well. So if you haven't got this one, run to the drugstore and buy it because you're gonna thank me later. Now going in with some concealer, this is my Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Concealer in the colour SC3. And as you can see, I'm just using my fingertips to blend this one in my under eye areas. I'm also going to cancel out any other areas that redness occurs, so any sort of spots around my nose, um, my chin, anywhere like that, where I do tend to get a little redness. I do want my um, coverage to stay top notch all night long, so that's why I'm going in with the concealer as well as a full coverage foundation. It was sweltering hot when I filmed this here in Australia. 
so it actually kind of melted the concealer a little bit in the pan and it made it super easy to blend in it was really really helpful but normally with this concealer you need to let it warm up on your fingers for a little bit before going in and applying it otherwise it can be a little bit harder to work around on the skin After applying all that makeup, putting all that hard work in, we do want to make sure that we powder our faces so that it stays there. I'm using my Ben Nye Banana Powder and this big fat kabuki brush and just buffing it all over my face, gently using patting motions to set the makeup in place. contour today I'm using this NYX uh, contour and highlight powder I haven't shown this one in a video yet and seeing as NYX is available in Australia now I thought I might show you guys how it works I'm just chiseling my cheekbones out with this one and as you can see it blends out really really well and then I'm gonna carry it up through my temples and across my forehead to give myself a little bit of color and a, and a little bit of warmth as well I quite like this product the powder is very blendable and it's very smooth it kind of it goes on very buttery and I do like the colour as well, it's a nice added bit of warmth to the face and it's just, yeah, for I mean like $15 or $10 or however much it is, it's totally worth it. I am going for quite a strong contour with this look as well, if you don't want your contour to be this intense then by all means back it off a little bit but with this eye sort of eyeshadow look and because it's a New Year's event type look, I am going a little cray cray with my contour but that's just personal preference. Uh, okay, this is the awkward moment when I thought I was Taylor Swift. Wowza. Oh, you can actually see my tonsils. Put them away, Nakia. Put them away. For blush, I've chosen the Sheer Tone Blush by MAC. This one's called Blush Baby. Because there's so much going on with the eyes, you don't really want too much going on with your cheeks. So this is a really nice neutral colour. And that's going to blend into that contour very, very nicely as well. I'm just applying this with my Sigma Small Contour Brush. It's the same brush that I use to apply my contour as well. And it works very well for blending that blush into the apples of the cheeks. And then I'm also taking it up through my temple, sorry, not my temple, up towards my temple along my cheekbone there to give a nice natural sun-kissed appearance. Now moving on to the first lip look, I'm taking this natural or nude lip pencil by NYX, I can't remember the name, basically it's a nude colour. And I'm just using this one to align my lips and then I'm going to go in with the nude lipstick as well. Oh wait, I fibbed, I'm actually colouring my lips in with this as well. This is a really nice neutral colour and it is going to complement any skin tone. So now I'm going in with my nude lipstick. This is Iced Almond by Face of Australia and it's a really nice neutral shade. It is quite pale but with that lip liner applied first it's going to come out to be a really nice nude colour. This lipstick is very moisturising and comfortable to wear as well so definitely a thumbs up for this one. Now that's it for the first look. As you can see, the nude lips complement this dramatic sparkly eye very, very well. If you're not so much into bold lips and bold eyes at the same time, this might be the one for you. But me on the other hand, I'm into that kind of stuff. So I'm going to move on to my second lip look and I'm going to take this Lime Crime lipstick in the colour Retro Futurist, which is a really bold, bright red. And I'm going to apply this one all over my schmackles. If you've never tried Lime Crime, I would seriously recommend you checking them out. They are the most opaque and creamy lipsticks ever. They smell sort of like vanilla, exactly the way that MAC lipsticks smell, but they're nowhere near as expensive. These ones retail here for $22 in Australia. Um, now, if you're buying a normal Revlon or Maybelline lipstick, you're probably going to pay nearly, what, $15, $16, $17? 18 20 dollars for that anyway so it is worth a couple of extra dollars for this one um, and it's just so opaque and creamy and just so amazing to wear so that completes the second look so that's the red lip 
Maybe if you're into a little bit more of a bold lip, you might go for this one. It is very sort of old school glamour. I really like it. But of course, two options is not enough. I just have to give you a third one. So moving on to the third lip look, I'm taking my NYX Lip Liner Pencil in the color Plum and I'm lining all around my lips and then I'm going to be coloring on the outer corners of my lips as well. The lip that we're going for in this one is a nice ombre, so it's using dark purples on the outside and then a pink on the inside. So once you've applied the lip liner here, we're going to move on to the lipsticks. I'm obviously a little bit slow. Come on, Nakia, hurry it up. Okay, this is another Lime Crime lipstick just because I can't get enough. This in one in particular is called Poison Berry and it's a gorgeous purple with a kind of a sheen to it. It's really, I wouldn't say metallic, but it has got a really nice sheen to it as well. So I'm applying this one on the outer corners just over the areas where I've coloured in earlier with that lip liner. Basically doing this is what gives you that ombre effect. So basically ombre is fading from dark into light. So it fades in from the dark outer corner of the lips to the lighter centre of the lips. And then the pink that I'm using is another Lime Crime one. This one is called Centrifuge and it's a beautiful hot pink. And I'm applying this one on a brush rather than from the bullet because I didn't want to mix the colours up in the lipstick. So I'm just applying this one to the inner part of the lips and sort of blending it through to give a seamless ombre finish. So that's it for the third lip look ladies. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. I had so much fun making it for you. I love glitter. Glitter and me just get along so well. Basically, this is a full-on New Year's Eve look and definitely hashtag me with your recreations because I love to see them. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!